juggling sessions, mastering the art of multitasking. Hello, dear viewers, welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that you might have heard, juggling sessions. This expression is not just about throwing balls in the air. It's a metaphor used in everyday English, and understanding it can really enhance your conversational skills. So, let's dive into the world of idiomatic expressions and discover what juggling sessions truly means. Juggling, in its literal sense, refers to the act of continuously tossing objects, like balls or rings, into the air and catching them in a sequence. But in everyday English, juggling is often used metaphorically to describe handling multiple tasks or responsibilities simultaneously. When we talk about juggling sessions, we're referring to periods where a person is engaged in managing several activities or duties at once. It's like keeping multiple balls in the air, but with tasks. Juggling sessions is a phrase that pops up in various contexts. For example, in a work environment, you might hear, my day was full of juggling sessions with meetings, emails, and project deadlines. It can also be used in personal contexts, like managing home responsibilities, hobbies, and social life. It's a versatile phrase that adds a colorful and relatable touch to your conversations about managing busy schedules. Let's put this phrase into practice with some examples. 1. Being a parent and a full-time employee means constant juggling sessions. Here, the phrase describes balancing parenting duties with work responsibilities. 2. I had to skip lunch today because of back-to-back -back juggling sessions with clients. This sentence shows the phrase used to describe a hectic workday. Now, try creating your own sentences using juggling sessions. Remember, the key is to convey the idea of multitasking in a busy setting. That's a wrap on juggling sessions. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of this expressive phrase and how it can be used in different scenarios. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions is a great way to enrich your English vocabulary and sound more like a native speaker. So, keep practicing, and don't forget to use juggling sessions in your next conversation about a busy day. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.